Hola y bienvenidos a todos. Hi and welcome along everyone to another Speech Bubble Languages Spanish session. This lesson is part of our level two materials, block number one, and we're moving on to this lesson to week number six. Let's get started. So our first activity is a translation task where you're being asked to put some sentences into Spanish. The vocabulary in the translation task relates to our previous lesson where we were learning about how to talk about chores around the house and also adding in frequencies. Hit the pause button here as you work your way through the translation task using your notes from the previous sessions to help you if required. Vámonos, let's get connecting then, shall we? I make the beds every day. We have, hago las camas todos los días. I do the washing up often. Friego los platos a menudo. I wash the car rarely. Lavo el coche raramente. I don't cut the grass. Remember, we put no in front of our verb to turn it to a negative. So we have no corto el césped. And finally, I never walk the dog. This would become nunca paseo el perro. I hope you did well on that translation task. Now, another activity was set of all of our students in the previous lesson to try to fill in the gaps in the table where we were looking at the English for certain chores, working out the infinitive and looking at the first person in the present tense. This helped us explore both regular and irregular verbs in this particular theme. If you've got your notes to hand, then use the following screens for you to check how you've done with your task. The first selection is on the screen in front of you now. We had to add in washing the car, lavo el coche, iron the clothes, washing the clothes, lavar la ropa, then finally make the beds with hago las camas. The middle section looked as follows, cortar el césped, corto el césped, Quitar la mesa is where we get quito la mesa from. And ayudo en el jardín, ayudar en el jardín becomes ayudo. Sacar la basura, saco la basura. To make the meals is usually I make, preparo, we make last session, becomes preparar in the infinitive. And to clean my bedroom, limpio, limpio. A new little uh, chore that didn't come up in our previous session but does in this workout is the quitar el polvo. Quitar el polvo is to dust. And the first person would be quito el polvo. To wash the dishes is fregar los platos, to wash the dishes. And you remember from our previous lesson, this is a regular. And we say friego los platos. To do the shopping, we have hago la compra. Again, you might remember this is an irregular verb. Its infinitive is hacer la compra. And finally, to clean the windows, we limpiar las ventanas. The first person of this, limpio las ventanas. Muy bien. So this brings us to our little checklist of where we are in this current block of learning. We're now moving on to week number six, where we're going to explore some vocabulary and expressions in Spanish to talk about friendship. Empezamos con un calentamiento. Let's get a little bit of a warm up under way then, shall we? Hacemos el alfabeto en español. If you know it, say it with me. If not, then wait a wee moment. Say each one after me in the gap. Vámonos, el alfabeto en español. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. E, Y, M, N, N, Y, O, T, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Muy bien hecho. Let's do our lovely warm-up conversation, shall we? Let's work our way down through the vocabulary to begin, making sure you're focusing on your pronunciation as you try these expressions after me. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Fenomenal. Bien. Regular. Mal. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo. ¿Con quién vives? Vivo con. 
¿Te llevas bien con tu familia? ¿Me llevo bien con mi familia? ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me apoyan? And our new question from last week. ¿Quién ayuda en tu casa? Who helps out in your house? You might want to hit pause here as you review your own answers to each of the questions on the screen. And when you're ready, hit play again. You'll hear me say the questions. Can you respond out loud in some of these spoken Spanish? Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Con quién vives? ¿Te llevas bien con tu familia? ¿Quién ayuda en tu casa? Muy bien. Don't forget, you can send your teacher or myself through the answers to these questions for us to check and make sure you're super accurate both in your speaking and your writing. Okay, for this particular lesson now, the main part of the lesson, you will need to know all about nouns and adjectives in Spanish. If you need a recap of this information, pop over to our YouTube channel, search for Speech Bubble Languages on YouTube, and take a moment to review the lesson called Spanish Nouns and the other lesson called Spanish Adjective Agreements Basic. This will give you the support that you need to prepare yourself for the remainder of this little part of the lesson where your knowledge about nouns and how to recognise them and adjectives and how they work will be coming in real handy in this lesson. So if you want to hit pause here and nip off to YouTube then off you go and we'll see you back here in a wee while. Okay, so now that you're familiar with nouns and how they work in Spanish and adjectives and how we get them to agree in Spanish, let's move on with the key part of today's lesson. We're talking about our friends and a lot of the time, if we have good friends, we'll know that they've become friends with ours because we have similar interests, or our similar characteristics, etc. On the screen are some Spanish words. Try them after me. El mismo. La misma. Los mismos. Las mismas. All four of these words in Spanish mean the same. Maybe that your friend has the same interest as you that you have the same friends, that you have the same pastimes or the same personality. This is where the words for the same are going to come in handy today. Shall we try them one more time? El mismo, la misma, los mismos, las mismas. They all mean the same. You might be wondering why there's four versions of it. The word same is said to modify or change a noun. For example, you could have a book and your friend could have a book. But your friend's book is not just any book, but it's the same book as you have. It's a describing word. As such, the word same in Spanish must agree with the gender and the number of nouns that are being described as being the same. In other words, the word same behave like adjectives. Let's take a look in more detail. The same. It has four forms and you have to choose the form according to the gender and number of nouns which are being described as being the same. Here are your options. El mismo, la misma, los mismos, or las mismas. Let's take a look at some examples. The same team. En español, el mismo, equipo. The word team, equipo, is masculine and singular. Therefore, we have to choose the masculine and singular version of the word same in Spanish. In this circumstance, it's this one here. The same team, el mismo equipo. The same office, 
la misma oficina. The word oficina is singular and feminine. Therefore, we choose la misma. La misma oficina. Let's take another example. The same projects. Los mismos proyectos. The word for projects, proyectos, is plural. We know that because it's got an S. It's also masculine. It ends in an O there before that S. So we need to choose the plural masculine version of the word same. Los mismos. Los mismos proyectos. Our final example brings us to the last one of our options. Tasks in Spanish is the word tareas. Tareas. We can tell the gender of the word tarea because it ends in an A, making it feminine, and an S, making it plural. So our option for the word same has to be the feminine plural option, las mismas. So las mismas tareas, the same tasks. Now let's see how you get on with choosing the correct version of the word the same. El mismo, la misma, los mismos, or las mismas. Here are the lovely words I would love you to give me the Spanish for. Now, don't worry, as you're quite new to learning, I'm giving you the words in Spanish nouns on the right hand side. Your job is to look carefully at each of the nouns and determine whether you think they are masculine, feminine, singular, or plural. And as such, choose the correct word for the word the same. Hit pause here as you work your way through the task. Let's correct then, shall we? El mismo departamento. La misma obra. El mismo equipo. La misma jefa. Los mismos propósitos. El mismo idioma. A little tricky one thrown in there for you. The word idioma is actually an irregular noun. Although he ends in an A, he's masculine. So we say el mismo idioma. Los mismos presupuestos. And finally, los mismos tiempos asignados. I hope you got on well with that one. So let's apply the rules we've learned about the word same in Spanish to learn how to answer the question, ¿Cómo es un buen amigo? Como es un buen amigo? Talking about what makes a good friend. Here are some things that may or may not, in your opinion, make a good friend. Try to say them after me. Un buen amigo tiene. Tiene. La misma edad que yo. La misma personalidad que yo. Los mismos intereses que yo. Los mismos pasatiempos que yo. Los mismos amigos que yo. Now we know the word mismo, misma, etc. is the word for same. Que yo means as me or as I. What do you think about the words down the centre? Try to pronounce them again. Edad. Personalidad. Intereses. Pasatiempos. Amigos. OK, hit pause here if you want to take a moment to review those words and tell me what do you think they actually mean? OK, OK, so la misma edad que yo. The same age as me. La misma personalidad. Same personality as me. Los mismos intereses que yo. Same interests as me. 
los mismos pasatiempos que yo. The same pastimes as me. And finally, los mismos amigos que yo. The same friends as me. Take a moment to add the English to your handout if you wish at this stage. Un buen amigo tiene, a good friend has. This time we're going to use un buen amigo es, a good friend is. Can you try these sentences after me? Un buen amigo es. Del mismo género que yo. De la misma religión que yo. De la misma nacionalidad que yo. Once again, what do you think the words underlined in blue might mean? Try to say them once more. Género. Religión. Nacionalidad. A good friend is of the same gender as me. Of the same religion as me. Of the same nationality as me. Muy bien. Aquí tenemos todas las frases que hemos hecho. Here we have all of the sentences that we've been working through. As a little listening challenge, how well have you picked them up? Can you find the correct Spanish sentence on the screen? One sentence says, has the same pastimes as I have. Los mismos pasatiempos que yo. Try to say it aloud. ¿Dónde está? Where is the same age as I? La misma edad que yo. ¿Dónde está? The same interests as me. Los mismos intereses que yo. ¿Dónde está? The same nationality as me. De la misma nacionalidad que yo. ¿Dónde está the same friends as me? Los mismos amigos que yo. The same religion. De la misma religión que yo. What about the same gender as I? Del mismo género que yo. Now there's one expression that I haven't asked you to look for. Can you find out which one it was? If you're not sure, rewind it. Do that little practice once more, listening, reading and repeating. And see if you can find out which one we forgot. It's letter B. La misma personalidad que yo. The same personality as I. Now we've gone through quite a few different expressions so far of characteristics of a good friend that you may or may not find important. But these next little activities here talk about other things that may or may not, in your opinion, make un buen amigo. Vive cerca. Me defiende. Me acepta como soy. Me dice la verdad. Se lleva bien con mi familia. Me echa piropos. Me da buenos consejos. Me hace reír. Now, lots of these expressions I'm hoping you may be able to piece together the English for you, given your prior learning on this topic. Some of these expressions we've come across before in this learning in this block. Some are completely new. I'd love you to hit the pause button here as you work your way through finding out the meaning for each of these eight sentences. I've underlined the core part of the lesson of this each sentence. So if you're using a dictionary for support, you want to be looking up the word or words that's been underlined for you. Buena suerte. Good luck with your fact-finding mission.
Okay, so vive cerca. He or she lives near me. Me defiende. He or she defends me. Me acepta como soy. He or she accepts me as I am. Me dice la verdad. He or she tells me the truth. Se lleva bien con mi familia. He or she gets on well with my family. Me echa piropos. He or she pays me compliments. Me da buenos consejos. He or she gives me good advice. And finally, number eight, me hace reír. He or she makes me laugh. Their next task then is to have a look at your vocab sheets, your handouts, and there's a big list of all of the expressions we've covered so far. The first task for you to do is to add on the English for anything that you've not managed to add on yet or that you need to tweak from your own fact-finding mission. I'd like you to tick the ones which you could use to describe your own best friend. So then tell me, ¿Cómo es tu mejor amigo? What is your best friend like? ¿Cómo es tu mejor amigo? Take some time to create your own response to the question. And don't forget, once you've written it down, to pop it through to us to check over for you. Once you've had it corrected, practice reading your answer aloud. ¿Cómo es tu mejor amigo? What's your best friend like? This brings us to the end of this part of the lesson for this week. As always, if you need any support in your learning, don't hesitate to get in touch. We're here to help you every step of the way. Hasta la próxima. Until next time, adios.